Hello again, this is Marxist, and today I'll be talking about defending on granary. To get started, I'm going to put in a little addendum here right at the start of the video that this map really, really punishes you if you overextend or you lose your medic or any of those other sorts of things that are generally considered bad but aren't as punishable on other maps. Granary swings really hard, and if you end up losing a couple people here and there along the way, you're going to lose point after point after point, and it, it's really going to be difficult to stop the steamroller once it gets started going against you. I'm going to present this in the format of mid, yard, second, and last. And before each little segment, I'm going to flash a little sh uh, flash card, essentially, uh, that'll show you the common calls for the area we're about to talk about. And then I'm going to walk through how you would manage a defense of that area. So to begin, we'll be talking about holding middle. It's important to know when you're holding middle that you have a slight spawn advantage because they have to come all the way from their last through second through yard to be able to attack you. Whereas you're coming out of your forward spawn, which is really relatively quite close. It's in yard. So you travel far less distance than they do. So if you want to get aggressive or have the ability to establish an aggressive hold, that could be in your favor. I'll talk about that once we get there. And uh, there really aren't that many callouts. It's more or less just which doorway they're on and then establishing whether they're left or right. So here's how you would hold mid in a standard or aggressive style. You would use this sort of hold when you've got uber advantage and no player disadvantage to stop your uber advantage from mattering. Or if you've got player advantage just in general. You don't want to use this if you've got people that are dead, if you don't have uber advantage and you know the enemy's got uber, you don't you don't want to be here. But this this is what will typically be the hold that you would go for. On the right side, you have the roamer standing on top of the crates, he's the green arrow, and a scout below him blocking the lane, he's the orange arrow. And then your other scout rotates around garage or choke whichever needs help or has people and he also stays buffed that particular scout should be buffed most of the time uh, when you're not building uber actively then you've got your pocket demo and med focused on the garage door keeping people out of there it's important to note that if you lose sight on the garage for even a moment you need to be very mindful that someone could get up in there and start coming out of the catwalk to come kill your medic without anyone really knowing. So as Roamer, it's important to periodically look up in there, especially if you hear your pocket and demo have to back up or if you see them backing out and losing vision inside the garage. The only other thing that I'll really say about this hold that's, that's important to know is if your pocket, demo, whatever are favoring the left side of the garage door towards the left lane, your medic needs to be over there as well, or you're going to get hit by a lot of spam. You also need to keep in mind that if you are favoring the left side of the garage door, you have to back up left, or your medic's going to have to chase you across all of that spam, or run around behind the crates, and in that period of time, you're going to be incredibly vulnerable. So make sure that if you're hold whichever side of the garage door you want to hold on, left or right, that your medic is in position and it, you are going to back up towards him or her as rapid, you know, when that happens and that you're not going to drag your medic across that door a bunch of times or you're going to end up with a dead medic. This is the passive mid and you're going to use this whenever you're at a disadvantage in some way, either in players or in Uber. Obviously, if you're at a player disadvantage, that means some of the people on this screen are going to be dead and not present. If it's uber disadvantage, it's not such a big deal. You may have all six players. The dotted lines show spam lanes and targeting lanes, and that's essentially all you're going to do here is your goal is to get them to start pushing in and then pop their uber using your your roamer, your pocket, and your demos spam, or if they attempt to bomb you 
to chase you out, your scouts can get a kill or two, maybe. But ideally, your scout's number one priority in this hold is keep people out of the air for one to three seconds and then get out. So that's what the retreat arrows are. The solid red and orange line are their lanes of retreat. The same goes for the black, yellow, and green lines, which are the retreat lines for the other combat classes. Uh, and I think that's fairly self-explanatory. Ideally, you will not use a player to sack on them and pop their uber. A big thing in newer teams is that they constantly think that you have to suicide a player to pop ubers. You do not want to do that on this map unless you absolutely have to. So if it comes to the point where they're already standing on the point getting time on it and they still haven't popped their uber, then you're probably going to have to sack a soldier or sack a scout only one uh, in order to pop that uber it's not essential that as far as who sacks but it is essential that only one person do it you can't afford to go down anymore over it so, and the way you do that is to just somebody calls i got it and nobody else can help them everybody else needs to focus on getting out so that you can push back in with your uber advantage so now we're going to talk about Yard, which is becoming kind of a unique area in the 6v6 map rotation because it's an intermediary area. There's no point here. So it's not absolutely essential that you hold it at all costs. It's not a big deal if you lose Yard because there's no you haven't given up a point. And that said, it is still important. You don't want to just give it up for free all the time. But it doesn't really, because of the fact that Yard exists, there's a passive and an aggressive way to hold Yard, but I'm only really going to show the aggressive way to do so, because if you're holding Yard passively, you're essentially really not trying to do anything. You're just slowing them down by like five, five seconds maybe at the most. It's not essential that you pop them at Yard, really. So... I'm not going to demonstrate the passive hold. Just know that if, if there is reason to play passive as you would play passively in other segments, just back up. It's, a, it's the same thing that you're going to be doing in the aggressive hold, but further back. And you're not really sacking anybody. Here we're holding yard in the aggressive format. What you've got is you've got a scout standing on the shack. His job is so that if anyone jumps from garage or choke and attempts to get on your medic, you shoot them out of the sky and your medic backs up. He's completely and utterly safe so long as your scout doesn't become distracted when the, the bomber comes. That scout is an AA gun. That's, its only, that's his or her only purpose. On the right side, you've got your roamer with a buffed scout. That scout needs to come and get buffs constantly, more or less. Uh, once you're not building uber and they support the roamer who's blocking off the right side if ever someone other than say just one scout comes at you as roamer here you need to just back off let it be your combo will back up slightly to help with spam from across the the back side of the map you don't want to fight here and die because because there are only two people here really the whole right side of this map collapses really easily and it's gotten to the point where many many teams prefer to push this way because in general roamers don't realize what's going on and it's a free pick so don't let yourself get killed here if anybody applies a lot of pressure to you just leave the pocket here tries to block the garage and uh, the little new doorway. I know it's not very new anymore. Uh, and that can help the roamer over here since uh, essentially both soldiers are blocking out that, that garage door. The demo spams pipes into choke and into the little window doorway area and tries to keep them back out of garage. And essentially you can keep this for quite some time and and they're going to be forced to do something. Do note, however, that they do have a bit of a spawn advantage, so your suiciding anyone here punishes you more than it punishes them. And if you have to hold this point passively because you're at disadvantage or uh, in some way uber and players, 
just stand way back. So you've got your medic basically in second. The scout could switch over to the right side. You're just way, way, way back. And that's, you know, I'm not really going to demonstrate that with pictures because it's essentially just everyone standing far back with three people, three, uh, three people on each the shutter door, the garage shutter and the shutter into the point itself. And you're just trying to contest them for a little bit to delay them, really. Now we're going to talk about holding second. Again, I'm not really going to go over a passive and an aggressive hold for this, because the passive hold version of holding second is standing essentially completely outside of second. You're, you'll have a, two groups of three, both of them at either shutter clear in the back, basically in last already. That's essentially all you can do when you're at a huge disadvantage in either Uber or players. I'm go thus, I'll be showing basically only the standard aggressive hold that you can really only use if you have some kind of an advantage or the situation is equal. Also, I'll be careful to note that ab about this point, in the same way that pushing into the right yard has become really popular, pushing into lunchbox has become really popular. So watch out that they're not doing that. And the scout that I have spotting, which you'll see in a little bit, will be responsible for calling the combo over to help him. That'd be your pocket and medic. Don't let them take the lunchbox away from you or you have lost second. Also, if your roamer dies for any reason, someone has to get back on bats immediately or you don't need to be in second. So here's our second hold. On the right side, you've got the roamer in what's called the lunchbox. He stands on the, the guardrail or on the stairs blocking that shutter door. He has a scout there immediately to help anyone that may come rush him. The scout is also responsible primarily for calling if that shutter door opens and you as the scout with the orange arrow sees that there's like a hundred million people standing outside of that door more than just say a scout, then you need to start yelling for your combo to come over and help you because they're going to try and kill you or your roamer in the next couple seconds. The other scout stays around and gets buffed, and mainly what he's there for is that if they try and push in a, push in a buffed player on your sight scout uh, on, that's further to the right, then you have a buff scout fight going on, complete with Romer in the lunchbox. There's a health pack in there. That's why it's called the lunchbox. So Romer doesn't really need to come get buffs because he's pretty much got everything he needs there with his, his lunchbox. There's also... A drop down the the doorway to the drop down in general it's pretty rare that someone's going to jump up in there but you do need to keep an eye on it to make sure that someone's not wandering up behind you because that's that can be a little bit of a factor sometimes your combo and demo block out z and the main shutter door to the point and if necessary have an uber fight over it and I show rotation lines, which show you what to do in the event that you have to go to a passive hold or they push in. Uh, also, be sure to know that your pocket has to rotate over if anything goes awry in the garage or if it looks like they get ready to push garage. But you don't want your pocket to get all the way up in garage because they can push through Z and take the point away from you if your pocket's like over in lunchbox messing around. So be careful that they're not tricking you into getting your pocket over-involved in lunchbox garage area. Now we're going to talk about last. Always have an off-class. Two scouts on this last is a tragedy because it's so big. Play as far back as you have to. If, you've, if you don't have Uber, you have no business being close to those doors or you're going to fail tremendously holding the point use your spam to pop them if you do have advantage since there are only a few ways in you can play really really close to the doors if you want to because you can block them pretty effectively and make them pop at the door uh, so do feel free to hold a little bit closer and experiment with closer holds i'm not going to demonstrate any super close granary last holds despite my enjoyment of them because they're kind of complicated and since this is only a rough guide i don't really want to show that because i don't know how useful it would be to try uh, especially for a newer team but 
it is something that you want to start experimenting with as soon as you get used to holding last in the typical way, which is what I'll show here. But before I show you the picture, I'm going to talk a little bit about off-classing. Sniper can be good if you need to get a pick very quickly, and I'll talk about how to do that at the end of the video to delay their push or get them to pop their uber very quickly. Most medics tend to be kind of afraid of sniper and you'll want to pop your uber pretty quickly as soon as you see one in most cases. Once they've popped their uber or their medic is killed by you, get off sniper as soon as you possibly can. You are completely and totally worthless. I know you think you're pretty good at clicking on heads, but people don't care if they see a sniper wandering around, especially when they're invincible. You need to get back to scout or soldier or whatever you were before. NG can be good on this point, but you need to make absolutely certain that you've got a 30 second window or so to get your gun all set up. And then you basically just go hide and spawn until your gun is killed. Heavy is my favorite off class for this last because you just plant him on the low pipe and make sure that he never falls down unless it's absolutely essential essential to defend the point with him on low pipe their soldiers cannot jump they'll get thrown to the ground pretty consistently and it's also helpful for your medic the other off classes in pyro and spy really don't have a place on granary spy plays are incredibly difficult to pull off when the enemy is in second and the map is far too large for pyro to be effective in most cases. So essentially we, what we've got here for our last hold is you have a soldier on either pipe, a heavy on the low pipe, and your med on the low pipe as well, with your demo watching right side and your scout watching left side. The reason that the scout is on the left side and not the demo is because there isn't a roof over that area. As you can see on the right side, there's a bit of a roof over the shutter door, so a soldier wanting to bomb your med has to A, cover a lot more distance, and B, there's a roof over his head, so he has to walk a bit. Whereas on the other side, soldier walks out of shutter, open sky above, so your heavy and your scout should pretty well take care of that guy all the time. The, as med here, you can block vision of any of the shutter doors and the windows fairly effectively by, by just staying put. Be sure to check behind you, though, because a spy can get in here pretty easily through the window because there's no way that you could see him. Uh, I've also got little drawings of where you would put the other players if you used them. The pink X's are the most popular sentry gun locations, and the little blue dot is where you would plant a sniper in most instances. To, purely to get them to pop early. If you do play NG, the NG builds his gun. Once it's level 3, you hide and spawn. Come back out as whatever you are originally when the gun dies. As sniper, as soon as that uber's popped, you get back inside. Stop being sniper. Uh, this, this is a more standard hold. If you're much more afraid of them and that they've got huge advantage or something of that nature, then you want to play back a bit more than I've pictured here, but that's about it, really. I would strongly encourage you to figure out a way that works for your team where you can hold very close on the three major doors, left, right, and the pipe door. If you can manage to hold very close on those, such that you pop their uber immediately whenever they attempt to attack, and then effectively kite them by running away and not giving up the point, then that's something that you should do whenever... That's your aggressive standard hold. I'm not going to show it pictorially because it's, it's very difficult to orchestrate properly and have it actually work. Uh, especially when you're on new teams or if you're playing with people you haven't played with before. Now, another important thing about this point just in general is with the exception of the heavy, who will never under any circumstances leave the low pipe unless they're capping and he's the only person left on the team capable of standing on the point to block, Everyone else sees which direction they push in. Left and pipe door, you run to the right. 
and if they come from the right, you run to the left. A huge mistake that teams make when they're trying to defend this point is that they see the team pushing in and they back up. It's very easy to attack people who are backing up because this point is big, yes, but backing up doesn't put nearly as much distance and obstacles between them and you as if you run horizontally. So if they come in right, run left. If they come in pipe or left, run right. Don't run back. Especially because the point, you can run quite a bit further back than there is point area. And if you get trapped in the back corners, then you're screwed basically and will never be able to help your team in any way. And this has been my rough guide to defending on granary. So I hope you found it to be helpful and enjoyable. And feel free to ask any questions in the comments below or provide any suggestions you would like.